Jessica Simpson is proving once more why she's an open book. The With You singer shared on Instagram that she struggles with dyslexia, which made it quite the feat to record the audiobook for her memoir, Open Book. When Apple Books picked it as one of the best audiobooks of the year, Jessica used the opportunity to get candid about the challenges she overcame. She wrote, Fact, I'm dyslexic, and this was the first time I have ever read out loud without hesitation. I did it for the listener. I did it for my family. I did it for myself. She also thanked Apple Books, writing, Thank you for recognizing and respecting my story. Turning my fears into wisdom has been a soulful journey, to say the least. I appreciate the power of this praise with all of my heart. Jessica has been open about what it took to read her story out loud. Back in January, she wrote on Instagram, Recording the audiobook of Open Book was one of the most purposeful experiences of my career. It broke me down both physically and emotionally, but I hope everyone who listens will feel my soul and hear my truth through my voice. Jessica did not hold back in sharing her truth in Open Book. The mom of three detailed her entire journey thus far, including some of her more difficult moments. She told Access Hollywood all about it back in February. What did you wrestle the most with including in the book? Um, I mean, there are a lot of moments in my life that led to other moments. So, yeah. you know, um, I, the hardest part for me to write about, like, I, I'm, I'm a very protective person. So I definitely wanted to protect my family as much as I possibly could. Um, and, you know, I talk a lot about sexual abuse mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to handle it in a way that was respectful, but also, you know, I mean, I have confronted my abuser. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I've forgiven her and I never wanted there to be any, even though it's a dark subject, mm -hmm. I wanted people to see the light at, at the end of it and how I grew from it. So really talking about the sexual abuse was probably the hardest mm -hmm. for me because I was so young and I had so many different thoughts and feelings um, and then trying to go back to that little girl mm -hmm. and having a seven-year-old girl, <laughs> it, it made it very emotional for mm -hmm. me. Also, a lot of people have experienced some sort of that, unfortunately, and you wanted them to feel relate, you know, you wanted them to relate to it and feel... Yeah, like absolutely. I wanted people to feel um, comfortable yeah. if, they, if they've gone through the same thing. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to feel brave, yeah. you know, and I didn't want them to feel like such a victim. And I wanted them to know that there is a way to rise above all of it and use it to help others who might be in that situation. Yeah. And that's always what heals you, is if you can, you know, if you can lend your hand and help somebody else that's going through it, or if you can make somebody even aware that what they're going through, you know, they're not alone. Right, right. Um, was there anything, Ashley, your mom or dad, would were surprised about in the book or did they know well everything? I mean they didn't read any of my journals growing <laughs> up you know I don't know why it's not like I had a lock and key on them but um, I think that just hearing my perspective because I'm the kind of person who like everybody in my life knew all these stories right. already because right. I'm very open you know like I'm like I've been through abuse I've been through yeah. divorce yeah. my parents got divorced yeah I've had an unhealthy relationship mm -hmm. you know I can just say it all like it's mm -hmm. not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But when you get into the depth of what actually happened and what that little girl was feeling inside and yeah. that that shame and the being scared and that kind of thing. I mean, I've had my Nana texting me like, I'm just so sorry for that little girl. You know, it's like, you know, I wish you were to talk to me about it. And, Aww. you know, so I think that a lot of people felt like they needed to protect me and right. they felt like it was too late, yeah. but it wasn't. And and my whole point of doing it was to make them know that, you know, there were things that were going on, mm -hmm. but, and I, I needed to be honest about it with everyone. For you. You know, with, for, for myself and, mm -hmm. and they've really, my family and everybody has really just respected me and my 
own story and my own truth and the way that I tell it. Yeah. And um, they've respected it in a very powerful way. So it's brought our family together very closely. Like That's we're, we're, our family is actually stronger than ever right now. And I never would have expected that to happen, but it was so healing for everybody. Cause I was sending everybody chapters and chapters and chapters mm -hmm. because I wanted them to read it obviously before the world was gonna read it. Yeah. But I also wanted to read them to read it before it went to print right. to make sure that I wasn't saying anything <laughs> that, you know, um, that would like hurt them like right. very badly.